Hey everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Today is part two of my Let's Play of 40 Winks, and today I have a guest com a commentator, um, and he is... Angus again. Angus like, again. I live, I live in Crystal Fisher's Let's Play. Let's pretty Playing much. World. Anyways, this is, so this is part two, and this level is like which way manner or something? Uh, oh, I've forgotten. Whatever. Um, and basically, yeah, this is the first, this is like formally the first level in the game. Um, and I don't know why I'm up here. And, yeah, so, it's, yeah. Alright, so, Angus, you've never played this game before, right? No, I've never played, i at least known about Lilo and Stitch, but I've never played this game at all. I hear you yelling in the background. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, there's just people having fun, jubilancy and whatnot. <laughs> um, it's Jeffrey, he's jumping on trampoline, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, so, yeah, uh, this is the first level. Um, yes, you've never played before. Yeah, it, it's a very, it's a very, very difficult game um, for kids because this was actually like it's, you know, judging by the storyline which you uh, now know, Angus, it's a very, very childish storyline. You know, it's about mm, like, yeah, about, about winks. You know, winks getting stolen and people can't dream and all this. So basically, this is like a dream world. It, it's like uh, it, it's like Shark Boy and Love of Girl. That's like the worst movie ever made. <laughs> I remember seeing that when I was younger. I oh, like know. it was on like it was on TV like a couple of weeks ago, and oh my god, that is just so gay. Yeah, it probably was. I mean, I liked it when it was out, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah I everything is. It's, it's like it's so sterile. Like it's like the dot. Like they recorded it. Like they're all like in front of blue screens the entire time. Like even the classroom scene, they were like in yeah, front of a blue it, screen. I actually do. I remember like back when I was younger, you would think, oh yeah, wow, look at this amazing set. But um, it just looks completely fake now that you like actually look at it. Anyway, oh, well, oh no, I forgot what I have to do. Anyway, so basically, you need the, the thing that makes this game so challenging. Oh, speed hacks. Yep, sorry about that. I have to use speed hacks. This game is so slow. Um, what makes this game so difficult is that you need to collect. You basically need to collect um, like a, a certain amount of uh, what are they called? Like gears. And basically, Cogs. yeah, the gears, the gears or whatever, the yeah, clunks, whatever. Cogs, um, cogs, cogs, cogs. Yeah. that's right. Um, and they usually are the most annoying things in the... Oh, no, I failed. No, no. No, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. Piece of crap. Oh, that was so lucky. It's like Croc a bit, like where the um, the gem things, or the, the Zeds act as your, like, health kind of thing. Yeah, and the annoying controls. Well, I don't know how to do it. Oh, you fell. Yeah, no, no, don't worry, I'm meant to fall here. Um, For some reason it reminds me of Banjo-Kazooie, I don't know why. Banjo? Hmm, I mean, yeah, you're a com, I don't know. Good. It just looks like banjo because like the clock guy, it looks like... Yeah, Peter like the sort of blocky area, yeah, yeah. I can, I can sort of see what you're saying there. But yeah, um, I, yeah, see, that the, the most confusing part of the game is the bloody gears. They, they can, oh, I hate them. Because basically, and oh. also just because the controls are so clunky. It's, yeah. So this was actually, well, yeah, well, it, you know what you're saying? I say, is it, are the controls like crook how it's like really gay and like you have to like walk and then you can't like, you actually have to like stop and then move. Oh like, yeah, that's right. a bit like Silent Hill as well. Um, I haven't played Silent Hill. Oh yeah, it's a bit like, it's like Silent Hill, yeah. Um, no, you, you can move around pretty much like in all directions, but the camera makes it really annoying. Like, um... The camera is probably the worst part of the game. It just and you know many games even now have a shit camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's like Gex has a crappy camera. True. Uh, that was the first uh, wink, by the way, or whatever. Um, so I think yeah, I mean you're in this level. There's two in this level. So I mean that's pretty easy. Sorry if people were pissed at I'm using speed hacks because when they play the game they have to wait probably double the time because oh what what the fuck no 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 oh my. Fucking god, that was the biggest <laughs> fail. It's Guava River all over again. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, I, I, I forget, did you fail in Guava River? I can't remember. Oh, it was one of those that was, that was, I think it was like Hay Valley or something. I don't know, I can't yeah, right. oh. when, you, when you die, does it like say, like, like you know on Spiral, like if you get like gems, and then you go back to like the uh, dragon thing, uh, it still keeps the gems? Is, is it like that oh, in the same way? Yeah, I think it is, I think it is. And I, I just figured out something really annoying. I've accident. I've um. I haven't changed the difficulty to easy. I'm gonna change it to easy in the next part. 
I know, because I'm scum like that. I really am. Right. If you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so back in... Yeah. And also, another thing that I have to mention about this game is that the levels are incredibly long. Like, they take ages to complete. Like, this might be cut into two parts abruptly because I can't be bothered to, um... Yeah, just, like, say... Like, end it, you know, in ten Ooh. minutes or whatever. We're back in the main area. Back to the main area, yeah. Do you have, un- do you have unlimited time yet? Uh, for my YouTube videos, I do not have unlimited time for my YouTube videos, no. Do you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah, you, you were one of the lucky ones. Actually, everyone was oh. lucky except for me and Ratchet. <laughs> yeah, I just uploaded a new part of Crash 1 right now, just then. Very good. It took me 14 minutes to get the gem on, um, oh no, 12 minutes to get the gem on, uh, up the creek. Jesus. Is that, is that good? Yeah, I know. I had, I had Max there. He kept putting me off. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, yeah, everyone go subscribe to Nintendo Gen 64. Oh, crap. Yes, you should. You you will yeah. regret it if you don't. I mean, I don't even know who this guy... I, I mean, yeah, he's just awesome. Okay, so anyway, this will be the 20th... Oh, oh my God. It's so easy to die in this game. Even though you have, even like though you have 50 lives or, like, 50 bits of health, you always die. It's amazing. And you can get up to 100, so... I mean, you know, difficult. Mm, very creative game, actually, even though it's like a dead rip-off of many platforms. Yeah, it, it, it is a good game, and I recommend you guys go and find it, but um, it was recently released on the PlayStation Store, uh, US, I mean, Australia, um, Britain, whatever, Irish, good. Yeah, Al. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, that was very Thank lucky. You. Now, anyway, um, now this is probably the most important thing I have to mention, this is probably the feature of this game which makes it so good I guess, even though I've got a 5.5 from IGN. You jump into one of these boxes and depending on what logo it has in, you will become a special uh, creek type thing and for example by pressing X and square, only the jester can um, close that so now these things won't fall. Anyway, so basically each ah. each one has a different power, um, as you can see. Now what I want to do is I want to be a loser and go back and get 100% again because otherwise oh, it would be much easier for me. Basically you're saving grace in making this game because this game would be a hundred times worse if it wasn't for um, um, these like you know masks or whatever you want to call them. Yeah Jack in the oh, Box. 29. Damn it. Okay I've got to find one more. There we go. You know who cares about going back. Um, yeah so like, I'll, I let me just think of all the ones there are. There's like spaceship, spacesuit, uh, prehistoric. Oh, look, a time twister. Um, and a f- few others, uh, like, I don't know, something else. I can't even remember. Yeah. Hey, uh, did you ever see that TV show, Martin Morning? Did I ever see that show, what? Martin Morning. It's, a, it's like a TV show on ABC that used to be on. Martin Morning. No, I've never seen it's, it. It's like, where it's, a, it's like where he, like, wakes up, like, he, he, like, dreams, and then he wakes up, like, being whatever he dreamt that previous night or something. Uh, this kind of reminds me of that. I don't know why. It's like dreaming. He's a jester, yeah, yeah, actually. Uh, he's a jester, yeah. Yeah, see, now you pretty much it recommends you to use the jester at this point in time, but it's really annoying, though, trust me, like getting all the... This is like when you don't have it, it takes so much longer. No, no. Oh, shit, a brick factory. Oh, crap. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah, now we need to jump up to the top. Like, so basically there's... 40 um, uh, Cog. cogs, yeah, in each level. Now, this is probably, this is the most bastardly part. Look, oh, oh, that was so lucky. When I was doing, uh, like, just playing this game for nostalgic reasons, just, like, practicing and all that, I remember this took me, like, 10, 20 minutes. Also, um, <laughs> wow. the annoying thing is that if you fall from, like, too high, like, barely even high at all, though, you will, um, you'll be forced to... I'm going to jump over that. You'll be forced to, um, um, you, you, Die. you lose health, but there's a workaround. Um, all you have to do is if you're falling from like a really high distance, if you press the circle button to do like a butt bounce or whatever, you'll, um, Mario rip yeah, off. Mario rip off. Um, you will actually a lot of things rip off. <laughs> um, you will be basically what will happen is there we go. You'll just, you won't lose any health. So ama- amazingly, uh, his ass helps him. Um, not to die. <laughs> anyway, up to this third floor, I think you call it. Just, just like a just like a prostitute taken captured, her ass will help her not to die. That is. 
I guess. Um, down there is the <laughs> fireplace, but uh, yeah, I can't bother doing this. And in my practice run, I kept I kept on missing. I didn't know to go in there because I thought it would just directly take me to the fireplace. And this won't fall out. But usually it doesn't. There's pretty much no way to get um, to the next thing. How do you know where you're going? It is, not, it is very, very confusing. It's only because I, I recently got this game on the PSN like two days ago Even because my dad sold the game after we beat it. Um, I don't know why. Um, uh, basically, yeah, this is a very, very confusing game, but we'll be talking about more of that in the next freaking level, which is a bastard. Um, so we're back in the hub world now. All right. Oh, Mad Monster Mansion much. <laughs> What's, is that from uh, Mario? Or? Banjo-Kazooie, the... Level like five, I think, is Mad Monster Mad Mansion. Monster oh wait, no, no, level seven is Mad Monster Mansion. Well, yeah, I really need to complete that game slash even play it. Anyway, so in the next part, we'll be going to the second level, which is uh, wait a minute, let's just walk away. Okay, you know, I don't know what level it's called. Anyway, so thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks for commentating Nintendo Gen sixty four, Angus. And no see you later. <laughs>